Welcome to the Excellers Launchpad Inbox Overview video. Excellers delivers patient laboratory results and clinical documents to healthcare providers through the Launchpad web portal. In this video, I'm going to go over the information that is displayed in the inbox and show you what type of functions are available. The Launchpad homepage is the Launchpad login screen. Enter your user ID and password to log in. Once you have logged in, you arrived in the inbox. This is where new reports are displayed. From the inbox, you can view and print these new reports. Once the reports have been printed, these reports will then clear daily at midnight from your inbox. The next day when you log in, the inbox will only display new reports that you have not actioned. Reports that are cleared from the inbox are still accessible and can be retrieved by using patient search to search for the patient's record. In the inbox, we have a list of new reports that have not been actioned. The inbox count indicates the number of reports in the inbox and will display an inbox count of zero if there are no new reports. Each line in the inbox represents one report. The date in the first column here is the collection date of the specimen or exam date. Then the next column displays the patient's name. Under section is the section description of the test in the report. Then in the reported column is the name of the reporting facility. You can hover over the reporting facility to see the full name as well as the telephone number for the facility's results center. Status indicates the status of the report. Again, you can hover over the status to see what the status mean. An F status indicates that this is the final report, and this I here indicates that this is an incomplete or pending report. Then in the last column labeled PRT is the print status column. The column will update when you have printed or viewed the report. One other item I want to point out are these tests that are highlighted in pink. The pink color indicates that there are results out of reference range and the results have been flagged. From the inbox, you can click on view to view patient reports. In this workspace, you can use the arrows to toggle between reports and you can also print individual reports from this view. Once you're finished viewing the reports, click close to return to the inbox. You will also notice in the last column, an icon that looks like a piece of paper now appears. This is to indicate that the report was viewed. If the reports were printed, you will see a printer icon in place of the paper icon. You can print these new reports by selecting the different print options. You can print all to print all reports in the inbox. All final will print only reports in final status. Selection will print only reports you have selected to print. Print Summary Page Only will print a list of current reports in the inbox, and Reprint gives you the option to reprint from the last five batches of print jobs. By selecting Print All Final, I have printed all the reports with a final status, and a printer icon now appears next to these reports. These printed reports will clear from the inbox view at midnight. It is important to note that viewing reports does not clear the reports from the inbox. In addition to the view and print functions, you can use the filter function to apply filters to the inbox reports, and you can use the status function to change the viewed or printed status of reports in the inbox. From the inbox, you can also click directly on the patient's name, and it will take you to the patient's summary to view historical patient reports, or click directly on the section name to view the report. To learn more about the functions available in Launchpad, separate video tutorials are available through our website. Please visit Excellers.com to see a full list of Launchpad tutorials. Thank you for watching this tutorial.